think it's time for me to end all these things now. In this church, I am tired of living my life the way it is. So if I do it in this church, then my points will be proven. God has refused to lift this spirit of poverty and loneliness out of my life. This God you are following, are you sure he truly exists? Hey! Don't say it. Shut up! Do you know what you're talking about? Look, just forget about everything. Let's go into the church and listen to what God has to say. I am tired of listening to what God has to say or doesn't have to say. I can't continue to live my life the way it is. That is why I have decided to do what I want to do. I am tired of deceiving myself. That is why I have chosen to listen to the voice that is telling me what to do. Which stupid voice is that telling you what? Eh? Look, if it's anything that has to do without God, then you know it's a lie from the pit of hell. Okay? Now, come, let's go inside and listen to what God has to say through the Bible. Now, let's go. Let's go. Come, let's go. Go, 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 I, I was talking about why it seems God permits evil in the world. Now turn to your Bible to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. You see, when you read through, you will find out that God originally created this world to be a perfect world. Which perfect world? Hmm? Pastor, which perfect world? Why are you deceiving yourself? Why don't you tell everybody sitting down here the truth? Sister Faith. Shut up! Uh -uh. Tell them, shut up, let me finish up. Tell them that God created this world with a wicked heart. Say it! Say it! Shut up! Shut up. It's the truth! Yes! Shut up! All of you are worshipping nothing. All in the name of Christianity. Lord Jesus. I have very bitter revelations about the so-called merciful God. This is abomination, God forbid. I am of your senses. The Lord has possessed us. It is you that she has gone crazy. What has gone wrong with you, man? Blood of Jesus. Hey, look here, Sister Faith. You better watch your utterances in the presence of God and the gathering of the people of God, okay? What is wrong with you? Pastor, why don't you tell everybody sitting here that Satan has possessed all of you? Do not come near me! Do not come near me! Knife? Who are you with a knife? Look, come on, Mister. Quiet, everyone. Look, knife. Who are you with a knife? Look, sister. Everybody, keep quiet. Look, sister. What is wrong with you? Look, look, please, nobody, no, and nobody should touch her. Okay? You have to fulfill and respect the presence of God. And I'm gathering of his people, okay? Do you hear that? Oh, no, no, no. What is wrong with you? Look, look, please, nobody, no, and nobody should touch her, okay? Yes, Sister Faith, now go on and tell us what you have to say. No, pick on. No! Uh -uh. This woman is blasphemy. Can't you see her? That's 
Just Shut up! Me. It is not your fault. This woman is picking so the me. She is alone on her chick. It's not your fault because you don't know what I'm going through. Yes. You have not gone through what I am going through. That's why you can open your mouth and say it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now go on, let's hear what you have to say. Tell us what you want to say. This knife is thirsty for blood. Hey! 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 Now that's not wrong with you, Shut up! But before it sucks any blood, I have one thing to say. All I have to say is that no, no, this no, 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 no. so-called God what are you all I have to say is that this so-called God does not exist See what you're going to do. Just go to the kitchen right now and get me those remaining two tubers of yam. All right? And then um, fetch some measured curry for me. But, but, Pastor, I am sorry. Those two tubers of yam are the only thing left in this house now. And the remaining measure of curry. Look, are... look, look, I know. I know. But you see, you know, you know how this um, woman and the children are starving. You know, they're just starving. They're hungry. I just need to give them that thing, okay? Just do what I say you should do. 
Okay, just do what I say should do right now. So, Try and manage now. It will soon be morning. Eh? Morning is almost here. Mommy. So, Mama, be quiet. Uh -huh. You want to wake the whole neighborhood? And you're, and you're talking as if this is the first time we're going to bed hungry. Why can't you go to Mama Falaki and our neighbor? She will help us with Gary to drink now. Me, please. We can't go and wake them up. It's already late. Besides, Mamma uh, Mam Mam is already embarrassing us. Any smart thing should embarrass us. Mm. That's true, Mommy. I don't like the way Mamma Felake talks to you these days. Look, one day, me, I'll pick a lot down. I'll beat her doctor and then. Don't do that, Chichi. Don't do that. Uh, just leave them to go. Huh? And that their daddy, Mr. Timothy. He's very wicked. Mommy, is it because our daddy has not returned? That's why it's been of faith to us. Don't worry. All will be well with us. Just try and go to bed, eh? Try, Solomon. Try. I beg. Try. Eh? Please. Eh? Don't worry, morning will soon be here. Let me go to the bar and think of something during the morning. And tell yourself bedtime stories. It will help you sleep faster, eh? Yeah? You hear? Mommy, yeah. where are you going? What is it now? Do you want to wake the whole neighborhood? Are you the only one who's hungry in this house? Eh? You want to eat? Um, do you children should not add to my head ago? Have you heard me? Do not add to my head If you are hungry, you eat food. Come and eat me. Eat my eye, nose and everything. You want to eat? Am I the cause of poverty in this house? Eh? Am I the cause of the poverty in this house? You this silly children! As if I'm the cause of everything happening here. Are you all crazy? Shut up! Shut your mouth! No sense! Uh, have, I not, have I not tried for you children? Have I not tried? Uh -huh. What is it? It's because of you people that I'm still alive, oh. Because me, I'm tired of this life. It is because of the two of you. What nonsense! You're saying, you're saying it's my fault. It's my fault. You're talking as if it's my. Shut up! It's not your daddy's fault. Eh? I told him not to go to Europe. He went. Now he's dead. Let, let, let me with the two of you. To, 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 if you turn up, you open your mouth. Rubbish. I'm sick and tired of everything happening in this house. Tired of everything. If you will provoke me, I will eat all of you. Uh -uh. I will kill all of you people who provoke me. Please, your head. I'm sick and tired of this life. I am tired. Eh? I'm tired of everything happening. It's only me. No sense. Rubbish. No. Where's your father? You said it's my fault. Where is he? I'm even, I am tired of this life. Do you know that? I am tired. Sick and tired. Mutimo lets me rest. What is it? In fact, I'm going to end everything tonight. I am going and I'm tired of everything. To hell with all of you. To hell with what have I even done? That that that, that God does not even understand me. A, 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 a God that is not merciful to me.
Children, how can you talk like that? Oh, 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 yeah? Don't talk like that. Eh? I won't kill you. Eh? I can never do that to my own children. Hmm? Sorry, stop crying. Hmm? Sorry. What? It's a very wicked world. Nobody cares. I will leave your children and die. You. I will commit suicide. You. If I try this last time and it does not succeed, you will see what will happen. Already I am tired. I've had it like never before. I will leave your children and die. I hope you heard me. Very well. Who is that? It's me, Pastor Joshua. Pastor Joshua? Still awake by this time. 
I just put the children to bed. They, they were just playing. Okay. Um, you see, Sister Faith, I just want to encourage you, okay? Um, no matter con the condition we find ourselves, always know that God cares about us. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, that we should cast all our cares upon Him, all our anxieties upon Him, because of what He cares. Um, right now, I came with a serious message from God for you. But before then, I also brought some food stuff. This is young and then Gary. Oh, the good part. I'm sure you start the fun with the Mm -hmm. Pastor, is this not too much? I'm sure you must have started your family. No, no, don't worry, not exactly. You know I know your condition, Sister Faith. Don't I? That you abandoned church for the past few months now does not really mean that I or even God is not worried about you. I personally, I am worried. Right now, I came with a serious message from God. You know, I, I had a vision you are in danger with the devil. I knew it. Pastor, they have come. They they, they followed you. Are they outside? Are they outside? Pastor, tell me. Are they outside? Hmm? Pastor, did you, did, you, did you see them on the way? They said they will kill me and my children. What are you referring to Those now? Those people I am owing now. They said anywhere they see me, they will kill me. Oh God, so they finally reached me. What are you talking oh. about? What is it? Pastor, see now. Did you see anybody when you were coming? Look, 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 Sister Faith. Calm down. Calm down. Okay? okay? Look, nothing is happening. Just calm down. Sit down. Sit down. Just so are you sure? Sit down. Let me tell you the message I brought for you from God. Okay? Just sit down. Sit down. You see, the Bible says in the book of um, Romans. Hey, 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 Pastor, what is all this religious talk now? I say people are after me, you are telling me religious talk. I am tired of all these religious things. What is it now? Eh? I am tired of all your sermons. What is it? What has it done for me and my children? What has it done? Why has it, why has it taken us to when we die every day? Please, I don't want to hear any of those things again. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Sister Faith. God. Oh my God. Hey. So the vision I had this night is really going to happen. Oh God, blood of Jesus. This family is really doomed for destruction. What am I going to do now? Sister Faith! Wait, wait! Look, I had a vision about you this night. Mm. Mm. Revelation indeed. Look! You got lost from the sight of God and the devil led you for destruction. Yes, thank you very much. I saw you perish in a terrible way. If I perish, I'll perish. It's even better. Let me end it all now. It's better that way. Let me perish. In unrest, please. Let me perish. Anyway, I am leaving now. Go, go. Good night. Um, Sister Faith, remember, whatever thing you're doing or thinking, always remember your children, alright? Is okay. that okay? Thank you, sir. Good night. You can go now. such a thing when this is the time for you to be more devoted look what you're going through is just a normal thing anybody can go through in the body of Christ look the Bible says count it all joy when we go through trials and temptations hey, pastor I know 
please. What is the good news you said you brought for me? Because you cannot just come all the way to my house at this time of the night and just go back without telling me the good news. You have to tell me. Look, okay, look, let me tell you something. Do you think you can find solution to your problem anywhere outside the real of God? Now tell me. I learned you now visit Babalawos and the witch doctors. How could you? Eh, uh, Pastor, the church has failed me. Almost all the members in the church are as poor as I am, if not poorer. So I decided to seek solution to my problems by... See, Pastor, to tell you the truth, I only visited the Babala also to, 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 to know the whereabouts of my husband since he traveled through the desert to, uh, to Europe. And that's all, nothing else. So what did your juju man tell you? Some say he's dead. Others say they cannot see anything through their crystal balls. Then turn back to God. Mm. Turn back to God. Let, look, let me tell you, you are playing with fire. You will just perish anyhow. You will soon die. I am telling you the fact. So why don't you just turn back to God and have patience, okay? And he will take care of you. Me die. Of course. And however, it has been revealed to me that your moment of joy is just round the corner. So why don't you exercise patience and see what God can do to your life? Now, hear what the Bible says. In the book of... Where is it now? In the book of Sam, chapter 33, verse 20. Listen to me. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. All right? Hey, Pastor, please, let me ask you one thing. Why is it that the more people are patient with God, the poorer they become? And when they decide to take their destinies into their own hands, they become very rich. And happy, Leo. Very happy. I want to know why. Even you, Pastor, you are struggling, managing to survive. A whole pastor like you. Is it not you that promised me 200,000 naira two years ago? Two years ago, Pastor. Hmm? Yes, Sister Faith. Look, the Bible says there's a way that's made right to man. But the end thereof leads to destruction. All right? And for the gift I promise you, the 200,000, soon and very soon, I will surprise you with the gift of 200,000. So, why don't you exercise patience and have faith in God, just as I have had faith in God? All right? Just look at your name, faith. Are you answering faith for nothing? Why don't you exercise faith and see what God will do in your life? I've heard you, Pastor. But I am tired of listening to you and to your sermons. That is why I have decided that tomorrow I will go and look for that money through that ungodly way. And if it does not work, maybe that's your vision might just be true. Good night, Pastor. Sister Faith. I'm sorry about that. I was out of my mind. And he said you did not take his message seriously. You know why? Why? I am tired of that church. In fact, I am tired of the so-called friends that are members of that church. Why? Me, why? How can I be a member of a church, a member of the special group of that same church, and nobody's willing to help me? Say that. They have been doing their best. Especially me. At least I'll be helping you with little, little loans. Me too. I even... I appreciate all you have done for you, but there's no way I can... I, 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 by the way, look at most of us in that church. We don't even have a fortune for ourselves. Eh, hey, that is why I have to seek other means, eh? Anyway, thank you both for visiting. I really appreciate it. Oh, sister, stop it. Where are you going to? You can't walk out on us like um, this. Don't think we are unwilling to help you. As for me, you know we don't have enough. My husband and I are living on his brother's property. 
Have you finished? What are you doing in the house of a sinner like me? <laughs> Auntie, I came to meet you to just to greet you and to tell you that I came that we considered those offers. Mm -hmm. hmm. What offer? Can you know the one that said that my money is criminal and bloody? Mm -hmm. That was then. No, nah, I'm no longer born again. No. Mm -hmm. There's no profit there. Mm -hmm. It's not you're waking up. It's not that you're waking up. Anyway, there are always things you and I can do together. So tell me, how are your children? Auntie, just all struggling to survive. We're managing. I know. I know. Do you still live in that house? Chief Afolabi must be really, really nice. To allow you to stay in this house for three whole years now with that friend. He is indeed a godsend to you. He thank God for his life, but I'm no longer in his good books because I refuse. He said I refuse to play for him. And he might just give us four. Mr. Falabi said I refuse to play for him, so I cannot talk to him now. You know, I've always said. I'm only saying that there must be something inside you which is blocking your sense of pain. Something like a, 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 a juju pair apart from your born again is it? what are you saying now? Have you forgotten I'm a married woman? Mm. I, I, I have children as well. I, I took an oath to, uh, to dedicate myself to my husband and to be faithful to him alone. Which husband are you? Chris. Which Chris? What Chris are you talking about? Where is he to perform his duty as a husband to you and a father to your children? Eh? Answer me! Instead of you to pay attention on more rich and handsome men like Chief Afolabi, who are dying for you, you are here wasting away your talent. You are too beautiful to suffer, my dear. And so you don't understand. I, I, I swore an oath of faithfulness and dedication to Chris alone. I cannot love another man, whether he's dead or alive. Those things are going to cage you forever. Yes. I can't love another man. No. Like now, if I get a good job or any income, I'll be married to my children alone. Except I meet Chris again. Eh, hey. But for now, all I came to tell you is that I need a job. I need a job badly, Auntie. I will kill myself if I don't get one. No. You don't need to kill yourself, my dear. You don't need to kill yourself. So what kind of job do you seek from me? What kind of employment do you seek from me? You know my kind of business deal, don't you? But thank God I've been looking for more staff. People like you to join my company. Yeah, and see which department of your which department do you want me to join? But I, I mean I don't want to be a drug trafficker. Come on, you will do well there, my dear. You will do well there. Traveling between Nigeria and Thailand. Isn't that a great experience for you? See, drug is very dangerous. Cocaine is very dangerous. I can't. It will either injure me or if I if I carry it now, I'll, I'll, I probably will get caught and I'll, I'll be thrown into prison. What will happen to my children? Oh, they will suffer. I can't. Every time, your children, your children, your children. Why do you always allow these children of yours hinder you from one good thing or the other? Why? Well, not to worry. You can bring them to live in this house with me. I'll take proper care of them. See, uh, they won't like the atmosphere in this house. Really? Okay, so tell me, Fit. Last year, I wanted to take you to Italy to join my other girls there. But you stubbornly refused. Why? Auntie, why are you talking like this now? What do you want me to be? A prostitute? I can't now. Eh? Oh, what will happen to my children? How would they see me? Okay, even if I decide to go to Italy to prostitute, what if I jam Chris there? What will he say of me? Auntie, please, I cannot. All I came here is to do is to ask you for a loan. That's all. I need a loan. All I need is a loan. So it's even because of a loan that you came. You didn't come to join my dirty business, right? You came because of a loan. Have you forgotten you're owing me the sum of $145,000? When are you going to pay them? 
hotel, I'll pay you now. And like I said, I need a job. Even if it's to be cleaning your house, I can do it. And from there, I'll get money to pay you back, please. Please, I need help. You know, Fitz. Tell me. The only help I can give to you now is to advise you to either go back to your bed or you feel good. Because right now, I don't know with whom you belong. You can't be in between. But if you ask me, I will advise you go back to your God. And I can't go back. Oh, there's no profit then, like I said. Why? Why are you talking like this now? Because no, I can't you are go not back. like us, my dear. You can't stand the fact of leaving the face of your Lord Jesus Christ, just like us. Go back to being a born again Christian. You'll be safer there. Uh, auntie, auntie, why are you talking like this? Please, now, why? Eh? Why are you talking like this? Auntie, please, help me with the loan, please. I won't, my dear. I can't. I won't allow you and your lovely children to touch my drug and prostitution money. My blood money to stay in your morals. Auntie, why are you talking like this now? Please, now, help me. Because please. I am already a sinner. I don't want to add to my sins by corrupting you and your children. Oh, auntie, so I please. advise you to get out of my house now. Auntie, please, now. Don't, nobody, nobody wants to help me, Fet please. my yes. Please. I leave that sum of one now for 5,000 naira to go. I don't want to ever see you again. Please, please don't do this to me. Please, Out! No, Auntie, please. I said you leave. Auntie, leave, leave, leave. Please, no. Leave. Oh, please. Oh, I said go. Go, go, go. Auntie, please. please. I said go. I don't want to ever see you again. Go. Leave. help me. Every day and night, I sit and I call your name. You can't help me. You are dead. I don't even know why you're here, sir. Eh? You're here raising hands for me. I said I don't know how to raise my own hands. Stay here and let me stop seeing you. So that I'll know what I'm going through in this house. What is happening to me? Oh, hey! Don't worry, everything is alright. Just go inside and and, and uh, get ready for school. I'll, I'll sort out your school fees. Go, 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 go! I know, but I'm not going to school with you today. Uh, where are you going? I thought you were following us to see our head our, our headmaster because of our school fees. I don't have the money now. I can't go and see your headmaster now. I have to give him some money. Eh? I'm going there to make some money. Money? <laughs> Mommy, that would be great. Yeah. Where? How? Uh, have you finally gotten a job? Um, I might if I hurry there quickly and I pray this one becomes very successful. It will be successful in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, 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 hey
to you last week because you were owing us. Did we get woman? That is why I don't like coming out of the house now. She's <laughs> okay. Hey, good morning. You promised to bring me one to my house last week. Where is it? Where? Where is it now? Hey, that's 65,000 naira. I'm just going to go and get it now. Wait, ma wait, let me explain By to you. Way. It is 75,000 naira. It has 10,000 interest on top of it. Hey, oh yeah. How do you expect my children and I to go? Please now pay me my money, eh? Please. Hey, no, I'll pay your money, eh? We take it easy. You're not the only one that I'm owing this money. When the time comes, I'll pay all of it. Hey, when now? Which time? When? I need that money to put my life back on track. Please. It's easy. You get, you get it very soon. Huh? You get it very soon. You know, why do you to look for a job right now? Which job? I have set and such no way. There are no jobs. Oh, wow. Even a cleaner's job, nor a janitor's job. I, no, none of that. I can't even find any. It's just as if I'm cursed or something. Yeah, you're not cost, you're not cost, you're just the hardship of the country. Take it easy. Um, I'll go back and look for the job. Take this one. It's for your education back home. You know, God knows if I have, I would do more than this. I help you and your children. Please manage it, eh? Thank you, Mr. Shegu, but please, please do something about my money. I am begging you in God's name. Do something, please, oh. Before, before, um, uh, before I, I, I do something, oh. Children, forgive me because I have to leave this world. It's even good for me to leave this world because if I die, my children will become orphans and people will pity them and help them. Yes, my death will bring them progress. Yes. Is she around? She just went out for the video. Who to go? Video. You don't know about it. It is an intercessory prayer session for you now that they say that all of us will be fasting for three days for it. A prayer session for me? Yes. I, I, I thought the pastor said that, no, everybody is saying that uh, you you have a, a, a problem. You are having problems with your uh, faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. But can that be true? Um, Angela, don't mind. <laughs> don't. Um, yeah. It's yes. all right. The bottom line is that I'm I'm still a Christian. Yes. You see, uh, Sister Faith, I have just one advice for you. Don't lose hope. Because, in fact, Pastor Joshua said that 
The devil is working. You don't lose hope because you are facing difficulties. Pastor Joshua said that the devil is about to destroy you. And funny enough, this is the time you are about to receive your blessing from God. Me receive a blessing from God. Bless <laughs> Me receive a blessing from God. <laughs> yes, now. Hey. Pastor Joshua said that the moment a child of God is about to receive blessing from God, that is when Satan fights more to destroy the person. Mm. Yes. Uh, never mind. Um, Angela, yeah. uh, your sister's husband, Joe, uh, is he working tonight? Uh, okay, Joe. Yeah. In fact, I wouldn't know about him. You know policemen with their work now. Today, they are on the road. Next tomorrow, they are on the counter. In fact, you know now, you know their problem, you know their work. Hey. Hey. Can you do me a favor? Favor? What? Angela, when I was coming in, there was this red saloon car following me. Honda, I think it's a Honda car following me red. And that is why I rushed here. Rushed okay. in here. Following me. So just help me check if the car is parked outside anywhere around here. A red Honda saloon car? Yes. Just help me go outside and check. If you don't see, just go down the road, that corner. That corner, just go down and check. Because I am, I'm scared. I also go home. I don't want anybody to follow me. Let me go, eh? Okay. That bend. Yeah. Uh,
Fine. Zay, let me how now. Fine. Um, did you see Angela, my sister? Angela, Angela just went down the road just now. Uh, which way? This I way. don't know, just this way. Okay, thank you. Auntie Bingo, you forgot your dress, Abby. Hey, I've seen it. I looked for you everywhere. Where did you go? I wanted to leave a message for my husband. Ah, uh, uh, didn't uh, Sister Faith tell you she sent me? Sister Faith? Yes, now. Where is she? Uh, she sent her and I need to get into the house. Uh, uh, I didn't see her inside. Is it see right? me or see me here? Yeah. Uh, uh, Bingo, how now? Fine. Where have you been? Hey, I went to greet uh, Ejiro, your neighbor. Okay, Ejiro. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sister Faith, that you sent me to go and check for you, I didn't see anything like that there. Eh? Hey. I didn't see anything. Eh? Hey. 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 hey, I said it. Maybe I was just imagining things. Mm. Okay. Thank you. What's that? Ah, never mind. It is you I came to see. I have some important things to discuss with you. You know I'm traveling. Traveling? Yes. So where? Yeah. My husband's village, of course. Ah. Excuse me, I'm busy at the kitchen. Okay, thank you, eh? Okay. Yes. My husband's village. What are you doing to do in the village? Mm, I want to go and explore some uh, things now. Let me know how I'm going to do my children. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not very easy. We'll just take it easy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, that uh, I came to. I was wondering if you would help me uh, take care of my children while I travel. <laughs> when are you coming back? Because my children will soon be coming back from their granny's space. I will soon return. Are you sure, Sister Faith? You know things are so difficult. And my husband's salary has not been paid for the past six months. Mm. Anyway, bring the children. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sister Faith, are you sure you're not lying? Lying. Because the Holy Spirit just ministered to me now that. You're up to something mischievous. Me? Up to something mischievous? Faith. Faith, you're up to something. You're up to something horrible. God. Satan is a liar. Blood of Jesus. Sister Faith, what are you up to? What are you talking about? Of course you know what I'm saying. She wants to deceive me. Or you think I don't know? Please. Please, I don't want to be part of any evil plans. Please. Hey. It's alright now. Go on. Go ahead. You're using tactics eh, to avoid helping me. No problem. Don't help me. I'll sort myself out. Don't help me. Sister Faith. Sister Faith. Sister Faith. Sister Faith. Sister Faith. Oh. Sister Faith. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> please. Please think. Think well before you do anything ungodly. And do you know we're having a special prayer section in church just for you? Look, Sister Faith. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Please, let's go. Pastor Joshua will be so glad to see you. Please. Say, I please. said I am traveling. Uh uh, you deaf?
been six. We came back from school. Uh, um, I I went to look for a job. And we have been looking for you. Me crying. No. Tears in your eyes. No, it's a lie. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. You're crying, Ishe. I'm not crying. I'm just sweating. You cry every day. Somewhere, eh? We will bring food for you. Plenty of food, eh? Don't cry again. Yes, Auntie Pinta said that we should come to our house to eat our food. Yeah, that's good. Don't worry, honey. We'll get it and we'll bring some for you. See, we'll put it in the cooler after you, eh? Please stop crying. Food for us, eh? Don't worry, eh? No, don't bring for me. to tell mommy about this matter. Leave me alone. Leave me. Leave me. Mommy, our headmaster said they can't bear it anymore. That from tomorrow we should stop coming to school. And they even said we should give our parents this letter. Mommy, when will daddy come back? Yes, mommy. You always tell us about daddy, that he'll come back. When will he return? Mommy, um, has daddy forgotten about us? Um, no. Daddy loves the two of you very much, so he can't forget any of them. Mm? Does he love you too? Yes, so much. Okay. Don't worry, mommy. Daddy's coming back home. Next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, I dreamed about it. And he going to come back next tomorrow. Daddy will come back. Don't say that, Solomon. Mom, why did you say that? Because Daddy is dead. Keep quiet. Who told you that? Can you say that? Who told you that? Why I said it is because people tell me, people around the street, people in my school, and even all the people. All the people. He will soon come back. He's going to come back next tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. Good. So now let's go. And let us concentrate on what to eat. Hmm?
What is it? I got your food flask. Don't worry. Leave the food flask. Just go. Don't worry. And it's because you don't have food in the house. That's why we're begging. In a normal circumstance, it is not good to beg food. Have you heard me? Yes, it is not good. Did you hear? Yes, I had your husband as well returned. I'm so disappointed to hear that. How I miss this intelligence and young man. I know definitely he know how to survive. And I know he will return very soon. And when he does, I know definitely he's going to come back with plenty of dollars. I know. Um... Don't mind, don't, don't, relax, don't, don't mind those people that think your husband is dead. Such a husband like yours, please, cannot just die like that. I know, you will definitely survive in Libya and any other party in, in, in Europe. Yes. I, I hope so, I, I wish you were right. Of course, of course, I'm right. I'm right. But I'm sorry. I I know your children have not been getting much from me of lately. I'm sorry. But how how are your children? They're fine. Chichi and uh, Solomon. You know those children are your hope and our future. So you don't toy with them. Okay? Eh? Please. Eh? Um. Don't worry, I, I'll take care of them. There's something I'd like you to check for me. Check? What is it? Is there any problem? No, 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 no problem. What is it? Uh, see, this place is very open. Yeah. Let's look for somewhere more quiet and... Is there something... You want us to go somewhere? Yes, somewhere more... Can I, can I? Yes. Are you sure it's for protection? Are you sure? For protection? Yes. For what? Protection from what? My husband, uh, my husband is, is going to send some dollars for me and my children. And some arm robbers had got the information, so I want to be ready for them. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you mean you want to face arm robbers? Wait. Shh. Oh God. This gun is loaded with bullets. Can one shot from this thing kill 
someone instantly. Because that is what I want. Well, it, it, it depends. Uh, Faith, you, you have to be very careful with this. Because if, if you touch this place, uh, it fires at the person in front of you. And you just have to be very careful with it. I know, I know this. Mommy, we are afraid of staying in this train that long. We don't do beside us. Mommy, why did you bring us here to leave? Yeah, no. Oh, eh? Sister Faith. Sister Faith. Where are we well, so we're waiting for Pastor? I think he's still busy inside. Yeah. Okay. There's no problem. I will remind him that you are still waiting for him. Thank you. And don't worry, you will allow the children to stay while you travel, if that is what you want. Thank you. Teacher Solomon, how are you? Right, I hope you are taking care of your mother. Yes, ma'am. Um, we'll be glad to have you too in this house, you know. Eh? <laughs> Smart children. Let me remind the pastor that you are Okay, waiting. thank you, sister. But, you see? You are just... But, mommy, where are you really traveling to? Where are you traveling to? I mean... He said the truth now. Say the truth. I should say the truth. Yes. Yes. I should say the truth. Yes. Um, I am traveling to heaven. <laughs> mm -hmm. My mind tells me not to trust you. What is happening? What is happening? Not, nothing is happening. Eh? I'm traveling for your own good. Nothing will happen. Eh? You deceiving us. How can I deceive you? You are. You're deceiving Me, us. your mother, deceive you. Come now, my dear. Don't talk like this, my Mommy. daddy. Eh? So you want to deceive us? I can't deceive you. Eh? Oh, yeah. You are not going. You're not following. Yes, Good evening, how are you? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting for this long. It's because of my journey to Benin this night. It's okay, Pastor. I had an emergency call concerning money, really. Money? Yes, you know, um, that brother in church that promised church and one million naira might finally do something about his promise. It's good. You don't look convinced, Mr. Faye. As usual, Mrs. Dalton Tolls. No, I mean, Pastor, it's, you know, when you're used to promise and fail, you can't just continue believing. So I just. Okay. I know, I know. It's, it's, it's normal, you know. It, it's just what we go through. Remember, the Bible says in the book of 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 28, everything works together for good for those that love God. And for those that are called according to his purpose. Uh, it is true. Um, Pastor, the reason I came is to um, bring these children to you so that they can stay with you while I travel. Oh, I know, I know. I've been brief about your journey, really. And um, God himself has revealed the kind of, to me the kind of journey you're embarking upon. Or you think I don't know? Pastor, what are you talking about? I, it's just Pastor. to give... We don't want to stay here. We won't stay here. Yes. We are going with our mommy wherever she's going to. We won't stay here. Yes. This we'll is trouble. Eh? Why are you children doing like this now? We must come with you, mommy. We are not staying here. We won't. Solomon, come and help me guide me. Dad, we won't stay here. See, see, um, just keep the back. Keep the bags first. Look, um, Sister Faith, I think God is just using these children to stop you of your intentions. Look, as for me, I have no other comments because God's actions are louder than any word. All right? All right? Look, Solomon and Chichi, look, I, I really don't have anything to spare you guys right now, but I promise I'll come back be it next time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pastor. Okay. So, you children, you want to travel with me? Yes. You want to? <laughs> Let's go. Let's, go. Let's travel. 
If ah, sister Faith, uh, sister. are you going with the children? Yes, yeah. we're journeying together. Yes, okay. thank you very much. Yes. Bye -bye. Thank you very much. Take care of your mother, Chichi. Take care. And my regards to Pat. Okay, bye bye. Chichi, Solomon. Oh, you, you children should hurry up so we don't miss the vehicle. Oh. Good. Hurry quickly. <sighs> My darling Chris. My darling Chris. I have missed you so much. My love for you still burns like a flame. And I'm wondering what happened to our love, why it came to an end so quickly just after you traveled to Europe. Mommy, we are ready. Anyway, my children and I have missed you so much. We miss your love and attention. I, I want us to continue from where we stop. I miss your love. Your smile, your laughter, your intelligent talks. I miss your... Mommy, what are you doing there? Anyway. Your children and I are coming to join you soon. So we'll continue our honeymoon from where we start. Mommy. Okay? Huh. I'm coming! I want to honor daddy. This is what I want to wear to travel because he would like to see me in my wedding dress. Like this. Our father? Yes. Is he waiting for us where we are traveling to? Very correct. Our father? Yes. It's a lie. I don't believe you. Have I ever lied to you children before? Now, sit down. So, mommy, say the truth. Are we going to meet our daddy where we are traveling to? Yes, I didn't want to tell you children before now because I wanted it to be a surprise. I want to go and meet daddy where he is. Yes, I would like to see our daddy. You see, I told you, I told you that, that one day I dreamed that daddy came back and bought plenty of gift items for all of us. Mommy, it's true, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. What is that? It is what we're going to use to transport ourselves to where daddy is. Transport. Yes. For Christ's sake, what's keeping Sam now? Now that I'm back to my fatherland, can't I get to see my family again? But Oga, should you say now here you and your family didn't stay before you travel? Yes. Uh, then go and see I go find out now. Ask of your family. Sam said that the people that I used to know that I used to live there no longer live here. Anyway, when he comes, he'll take me to Yusuf. Yusuf knows where my family is. Where is this Sam now? I, I don't know what is keeping him in. Sam! 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 Sam!
Sam! Look, I hold it up now, I beg you! I want to be my wife. I've been missing it for the past few years, and I'm back. Oh, but what, what kept you now? There's no place, I'm actually in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome once again. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah. This is a small world indeed. Who can ever imagine that I will see you again, Chris? Look, my brother, that's one of the wonders of the world. We'll make you part in part. Sure, sure, sure. You, are. you know. Hey, my wife was pregnant with my left. Yes, yes. What did it turn out to be? The boy! His name is Solomon. Yeah. Although you don't uh, when I see your family last year, but uh, they say the boy did be really intelligent, sharp and handsome. <laughs> because for what you expect, the boy must resemble his father now. Mm. Father was born bad. You're Look, right. Can you imagine the joy of fatherhood that have been missing? Thank God, now you're back. What about Chichi, my daughter? No, she was too ah, that one a beauty queen. Hey. Between she and Solo Seven, I don't even know who's on the other side of the house. Oh, wow. Hey, see what I've been missing while inside the building. It's okay, let's go. So, you mean you've been in prison in Libya all these years? My brother, the first day I set foot on Libyan soil while going to Europe, I got slammed into that prison for just being an African. I spent seven years in jail for nothing. Oh my hmm. God. My brother, forget, forget. This is not the time for the sad story. Now, why for some of these foreign countries safe? But you, you let her find a way to Europe, isn't it? My brother, it is by the grace of God I managed to escape to Europe. Due to some serious reasons, I couldn't even communicate with my family. Anyway, all is well that ends well. God's blessings followed me anyway. I don't worry. I'll soon give the details of my experiences to everybody. Wow. I'm sure your wife and children will die of happiness whenever they see you. <laughs> me will die of happiness when I see them. In fact, I just can't wait to see them. I am dying to see them. <laughs> saying is that I want you to forgive me for what I'm about to do to you. What are you about to do to us? Look, children. You want to go to heaven, don't you? Yes. And you wanted to travel with me, didn't you? Yes. So, we're all going to visit heaven tonight. Which heaven? How many heavens do we have? One, of course, and that's where God is. And that is where we're going to tonight. Stop joking, mommy. It's only when people die that they go to heaven, and that is people who are good. Yes, it's true. It's when people die that they go to heaven or hell. Yes. So what are you trying to tell us? That we are going to die or what? Well, I am sorry to announce to you that we're all going to die in this room tonight. Each and every one of us. What? Shut up! It's a good one. Shut up! Shut your mouth. Did you hear me? I said, shut up. Keep quiet! This is our transport to heaven. Mom, now, shut up. Good. Shut up! Stay calm and do as I say. Good children. Mommy, is that a, a toy? How can this it be? It can't be real. It's a real gun, my dear. You wanted to travel with me, didn't you? Mommy, we're going to kill people. Yes, I know, my dear. So you have a real gun? Yes. Where did you get it from? I found it. Somewhere to help us go to heaven. Mommy, stop fighting a real gun at us. Mommy, please. Just keep quiet. Didn't you hear me? Now, all these years my family has been suffering seriously of poverty and all that, and none of Unafi do anything to help them in my absence. No, be so. Things hard for everybody too, bros. Moreover, it's quite a long time that I saw my, I set my eyes on the family last, but their situation is not bad as such. You so come. You mean my wife and children hardly see food to eat? 
<laughs> Good Samaritans not there again for this world. God, my family has suffered in my absence. You so far, baby. Let's go. Let me go. Samaritan still do. It's just that your family was not lucky enough to meet them. That's the truth. God. I can't believe this. Driver, please shoot the scar forward. Let me quickly go and wipe off your tears. You so far beg, show the driver the way. Show sure, the driver sure. the way. And now, now wow. Honestly, everybody thought you were dead. Even me. Even till now, I'm trying to see what I, I'm trying to believe that this is Chris. My yeah. brother, this oh, wow. is Chris, oh, and I would have died. Oh. It was the thought of my family that kept me alive all those years. I still have that thought to say in my head. You should talk to the driver now, talk to the driver. Show we're, we're going to show him the way. here and now because that is the only option since we have no solutions for our sufferings. You also said that this name is the best to solve all sufferings. And he said that if people suffer later than they enjoy and it's true. So you say I should wait and enjoy. Yes. Wrong! Your son, the school teacher, is very wrong. Did you hear me? What do you children know? Keep quiet! You children should keep quiet because you do not know anything. That is why I want to kill myself and solve everything here and now. Just shut up! What is happening? 